Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Grow Everything. Today I want to show you how I propagate pineapples here in South Florida. For those of you that don't know, starting a pineapple plant in South Florida can be as simple as throwing the top of a store-bought pineapple into your yard. After a few weeks, the pineapple head will begin to develop roots and grab hold of the sand. Though this hasty process does typically work, this means less moisture is provided while rooting and faster depletion of the plant's natural energy reserves. Digging a small hole and burying the base of the pineapple head will make a dramatic difference in how fast your pineapple plant takes to the soil. Simply bury the edge of the remaining fruit under the sand to add stability and make full contact. Now that you have your plant in the ground, keeping the area moist is key to success. Now this can be achieved through routine waterings a few times a week, but I have found that adding a thin layer of mulch eliminates the need for watering the plants and also greatly increases the size of the plants overall. As you can see from these photos, the pineapple plants with a mulch covering develop much faster and look vastly healthier than plants grown in plain sand. Another huge benefit to the mulch is a dramatic decrease in weeds, meaning no need for Roundup or other potentially harmful herbicides. If weeds are not managed on a regular basis when growing in unmulched sand, they can end up starving the plants of sunlight and nutrients. As for mulch types, I have yet to find a type that doesn't work. You can see in the video about our Back to Eden garden the many types of mulch that we receive. My personal recommendation is that you not use decorative mulches from the big box stores that are infused with foreign chemicals and dyes, as fresh wood chips from tree trimming services are far healthier for the soil as they break down over time. It's all important that you don't mix or till the wood chips into the soil, as this will starve the plants of nitrogen. A 3 to 6 inch layer of wood chips on top of the sand will do the trick. Fertilizing is something I've never done for my pineapples because the plants seem to be very independent and produce great fruit when left alone. However, if you feel your plants need a boost, pineapples greatly benefit from balanced NPK fertilizer, meaning the fertilizer has equal parts nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. However, if you are growing the plants surrounded by mulch, a fertilizer consisting mainly of nitrogen will be best, because wood chips already contain phosphorus and potassium, as well as micronutrients. Typically, it's best to make sure that pineapple plants receive six hours of full sun to produce well. But I can say that I've had success growing in partial shade as well. We have had this low maintenance patch in the corner of our yard for years shaded by pines and palmettos. The fruit is typically smaller, but the flavor is still just as good. So don't be afraid to try growing pineapples, even if light conditions aren't perfect. A common misconception is that after a plant produces a pineapple, that it dies. This, however, hasn't been the case for my plants. After a plant produces its first pineapple, it will lie dormant through the winter months, but as soon as monsoon season kicks in, pups begin to form at the base of the plant, making way for a new set of foliage and fruit. Some plants even produce multiple pups at a time as they age, greatly expanding size and yield. This patch started as three pineapple tops eight years ago and continues to spread to this day. As for frost tolerance, pineapples have a typical level for a tropical plant, sustaining damage at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and below. This can be somewhat mitigated by growing near larger plants that catch moisture and regulate temperature through the night. Another common method of protection is to put Christmas lights over your plants. If pineapples are left to fully ripen on the plant, they begin to smell very fruity and attract all kinds of animals that will steal the fruit. To ensure harvest, pick pineapples when one of the lower corners begins to turn yellow and the fruit is leaning to the ground. Once picked, the fruit will reach full ripeness in one week. Another way to keep animals at bay is to grow the pineapples in an open area away from densely forested spaces. I've found that the closer the plants are to areas where animals like to hide, that fruit is stolen far more often. This patch in our backyard sits right next to the woods. In our last growing season, three of ten fruit were stolen while ripening on the plants. This group of plants stands much farther from the woods. We had a few pineapples that fully ripened in this patch and weren't touched by any animals. So location makes a huge difference when avoiding pests. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions regarding pineapple plants, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them all. Thanks for watching.